another good example of where we can bring our customer is about food. There are many questions about food. Is there not vegetarian? Uh, is it local? Uh, what do we do with the waste? Ah, it's good because the next question sent by the iPad is food. Thanks, André, for the transition. <laughs> Perfect transition. And I'd like to, to talk about this topic because I interviewed three or four uh, great entrepreneurs, French entrepreneurs, um, Lucille Bache uh, from Too Good To Go et, and Jean Moreau from Phoenix. Uh, there are two startups um, that uh, try to reduce uh, food waste yeah. and uh, by uh, giving um, a box of uh, products uh, that would have been uh, in, uh, in the dustbin. So it's, it's great. And also it's inclusive because people who can't uh, afford great food have uh, such uh, sushis or uh, other uh, goods uh, for quite nothing. So uh, there are many innovations uh, about food waste, but it's still an issue. I saw that food waste is still an issue, and even, even if we think we, we do a lot to uh, erase food waste, it's still not enough. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask you, uh, what do you do? No, it's a good deal because uh, food, uh, it's something important in terms of experience. Uh, we know that we have to bring content back to the hotels. It's really part of what people are expecting. Yeah. So it's a good field where innovation can meet uh, sustainability. Uh, I think that there is a lot of uh, innovation that has been implemented uh, recently. Okay. In Accor, actually, no? You mentioned it, huh, Alice. Indeed, we're working with uh, Too Good To Go. Uh, there are many hotels that are partner. Uh, I think including uh, this hotel in uh, Bercy. I love uh, what uh, Molitor is doing. That is, they've got fantastic breakfast. So when the breakfast is over for the guest, they transferring it in for, for the platform for Too Good To Go. And so you can uh, go and grab your breakfast before going to work or to offer it. So there is this initiative. And Vangelis, you mentioned it as well. It's a, food is a good, uh, let's say, lever in terms of ESG for many things, for the E, for the S, for the G. Um, because, for example, we're using artificial intelligence. There is a great startup name, maybe you know it, um, Full Soon, mm, uh, yeah. with a great former Aquar, Asan that has uh, created this uh, company with uh, his uh, sisters. And uh, they're working on, let's say, artificial intelligence to measure the carbon impact of a menu. So they give some advices to the restaurants. You have some uh, picto to identify what is uh, beneficial. And they're working as well on the food waste. And the good thing for, for food is uh, not only you can give back uh, to local communities, but as well, it's very measurable for the, for the owners and investors. That is, if you're reducing your food waste, it's direct a positive impact on your p &L. So it's really a good lever to improve, to be better, to have a better impact. And as you said, it, André, to, uh, well, to have a good impact as well on your own business model. What do you think? Yeah, so same. One thing we could really improve in the uh, hospitality industry is about the, the weight of uh, meat and so on, because there is an impact on cost and there is an impact on, on uh, gr uh, gr greenhouse gas. So uh, very and often, health. yes, health as well. I am vegetarian, my, my daughter as well. So when we come in a restaurant and we see there are 20 plates and one, one vegetarian or no, none, we don't feel really welcome. And we, we just go through. And uh, we, I think we can reduce the ma amount of meat and try to put more solution for vegetarian people. But what you said is very interesting because we often talk about meat and reducing it and be, being vegetarian, but where your product comes from, it's, uh, it's very important. Uh, you can be vegetarian at, and eat uh, everyday chocolate or mangoes, and your food, footprint is very high. So you have to, um, to teach, uh, to educate your customers. And I think it's very interesting. Local, to, to do seasonal. Local, seasonal, yeah. yeah and, uh, but, you know, co coming back to our point about, uh, you know, guests and uh, what they perceived, Clearly, this is something that they are very much in favor of. And when we talk about eco-certification of the hotel, 
it's a must-have. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a strong trend where we could go even faster, but things are moving. And you, you mentioned uh, for uh, vegan, uh, vegan food, one of the stake as well is to propose uh, some uh, dishes that are really good, yes. <laughs> not yeah, that are exactly. mandatory. And exactly, so it's part of, uh, as well, in terms of education of the staff, of the chef, to be able to give our guests as well very nice, delicious food that are uh, veggie. Nice to hear this. <laughs> André, you are speaking about your, your daughter. Um, I have noticed inside the operations there, there, there is clearly a generation gap about how the staff is perceiving their role and how they can really change things. So uh, do you perceive that in your, in your hotel, that there is, you have some young guys more conscious about the sustainability that are really empowered in any in initiative and maybe other ones more old school that are less keen to change? Uh, it's, it's various again. But uh, my, my daughter, uh, when she was eight, she told me, Dad, you should take into account the impact you have with all the meat you eat. 